Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo, we are back in a campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, this is the 100th episode in the series, and <laughs> we are not really far, come pig, come come. Let's move to the prison. Where is the prison somewhere? Uh, let's see. Where is the prison? It is. Let's move there. Uh, I thought I would move out today but yeah let's let's do it um in the right direction or right um order let's do all the stuff in dread first before we move so we are in the prison yay there is loot let's check it all And you know my garage? Interesting. That's it. Yep. Nothing there. So there will probably be something there soon. In the near future. Or not. <laughs> So nothing there. Let's see. Um, I mean, we don't need this house, abandoned building. Man, I'm not sure if I should talk to these guys. There was one thing we could do. I'm not sure what this was. Ah, it was in the street somewhere. I can remember. Show uh, banner over the citadel. Strike from the sky. We did this long ago. Okay, Dragon's Fate. We did this. No. Dragon's fate is the Tyrandale dragon. Okay. Enemy. Any lead could be cruel. Possible. Demons have left no trace. Okay. Attack out of the nowhere. We did talk to Anivius. Count out the rabbins southwest of the um, so what should we do there? Okay. Final sunset of winter. The petrol from Brighton has disappeared without a trace. What happened to the soldiers when they came? Were they kidnapped? Were they deserters? I don't know. They went missing on the southern road. Away from the city. Very only sensible to begin the search there. In the dragon hunt, bounty hunter swears that he will be able to lure out the dragon. All that is needed is a suitable place for an ambush. We need an ambush in Greenwood. That it. One of the in your best oil. Okay. I don't care. From a dead woman's head. This, this hands. This this was the thing. We should we we could do there. Talk to social. Okay. So we will have to talk to social. Farewell. Oh. 
present of the app is wait for events to okay ah we did this in episodes Okay, let's talk to Social then. Move out. I think. Must be. <laughs> there he is. Good afternoon, Commander. How can I help you? Did you think about what the hell I told you? Wind of silence has lifted, but there was nothing behind it for uh, what? Another dead end. Still, no nothing. How could Trevor have parted with his shield? I can't imagine. You don't know what your brother was in, has in good in this war. Perhaps the person you once knew is gone. I don't want to believe that. I can't. Not Trevor. Uh, brother, will I recognize you when I find you? I guess. Hopefully. You know, it's not only the Hell Knights who told me the truth. Knight Tirabade refused to tell me anything about my brother's fate while I was serving in Canabras. But after these events, she finally broke her silence and the things she told me. Mm -hmm. That he was a good fighter, but a terrible knight and an utterly worthless paladin. He became more and more cruel as time went on. He started caring more about destroying the enemy than protecting the innocent. He gushed over pre Prelate Hulman and his weakness. Eventually, the goddess Patience wore thin when he beat up some poor fellow for blasphemy. Shedin took away Travis' powers. That was a huge blow for him. He left the city asking only that his disgrace be kept secret from his family. That was why Irabeth didn't say anything earlier. Aha. Uh -huh. So probably his brother did do something. You wouldn't know he could do. Brother, my brother, but how? He's always been kind. He's always been kind, merciful. Where could his, this cruelty have come from? Okay, what do you think of your brother's fate now? I can't wrap my head around what I've learned. It's as if we're talking about a different person altogether. How could he? Why did he give his shield to that sheet in black armor? Or Sherlin? Oh, Sherlin, that is all a mistake. Mm. Do we want to know anything about him? Ah, oh, so much. Yeah, thank you. Good bear. Okay. Do we want to leave the city? Let's do this. Let's let's leave the city a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, you and your pig run. 
and there ran also the cat. <laughs> Yes, it's a big pig. Okay, uh, whom do we take? We probably let these two at home right now. I want you with us, because I want to know how you fight. And I want you with us, because you have one spell that can make my pig even bigger than it is right now. And we want one of these two with us. Let's take Darren because he's he's the good guy. And then uh Menyo or Ember. Let's take Ember with us. And Lan. Except. Mm-hmm. Okay, where do we have to go? He told me something about West. Is the roof where we have to go? It's a demon army. Mm -hmm. It said that it will... Ah, Winter Sun, what's that? A small village that somehow survived the demon invasion. Surprisingly silent and peaceful, as though it lies in some remote rustic set far from the front lines and not in the middle of the world wound surrounded by mountains. Okay... This is new. I didn't know that. Heart of mystery, ancient ruins. That's a chorus in there. Ah, there is the grim wood. Oof. That's kind of a, a journey. Hmm. So, where to go first? Like here. Hmm. Find the invaders. And wait, there should be something somewhere around as well. Because, I mean, we heard that there are some crusaders, there are some people missing. Let's just say. Issue an order that will allow Irabeth to spend more time among the common soldiers. Ah, yeah. We can only do this later on. No. Mm, no. Uh, let's move south from here. Why not? And let's do some random encounter. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Camellia has some, um, something bad around her as well. No. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, you can have a mythic path. So you will do. So you will stay with us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
Okay, uh, let's do the things that um, that the game recommends because it's too hard to do all this for yourself. Probably I'm I'm playing it afterwards for myself as well, and then I will do some some of them myself. And no one ever takes uh, no one of these takes ever some. Uh, Alchemist stuff or writing scroll stuff. I'm probably uh, getting rid of all the uh, things to write scrolls and do potions. You found a way to use your perception and knowledge to better defend yourself, benefit your sight target ability, gives you a bonus to EC against the target of your sight target ability. Equal to the bonus, this ability gives you to attack. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, you can just, I mean, you know, you could just do the next one. Two weapon fighting, perfect. Attack rolls for fighting with two weapons are reduced by two. Sounds logic to me. This probably I would have taken as well. I don't think that I would would have taken defensive study, but yeah. Rupture restraints. You can create a surge of mythic powers that frees you from all magical restraints. Three times per day, you automatically spell any effect that make you frightened, dazed, sickened, shaken, staggered, nauseated, stunned, paralyzed, or confused whenever you become affected by any of those effects. That's quite okay, I guess. So, let's just say, yep, looks good, probably, she goes there, and there. Let's see what happens. Ooh. All of them are corrupted. I can still fight I not him. Quick I am up. Crossing of the abyss must be informed. Okay. So, who's that? Baphomet cultists? Okay, now you've got a new hex. That's quite nice. This one, hampering hex. But you're too far away for that. Ooh, a level 12 cleric. 11, 11 fight cleric. AC 23? Really? Why does the cleric have a better AC than the fighter? Hmm. 
Okay. How about we do... Um... Some heroism. On... Land. You do a bless for all of us, please. <laughs> so let's see about this one. Ah, oh, he now has an AC of nineteen. Good. Wait. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. We see the hamperings hex. It's just four seconds, so he did do the save. So let's attack this guy before it's getting away. Oh, come on. <laughs> Can we please not kill the dwarf right at the start of the game? Okay, great boar. Ah, you have this target ability. Started target. Kill this guy. Wait, I can't attack him. Why not? <sighs> okay, then let them create a because I can. Pig, your turn. Oh, pig, you're such a pig. Shield of Fate, really? So, Camellia, um... Let's just say... What do we next? Um... Let's do this hampering hex on the next one. Mm -hmm. Let's move away and then let's do... Old person on this guy will save 12. Ugh. But on the other hand, 
probably not a blue. Not this. Probably um, a scorching ray. Hmm? Okay. Okay, Darren. Uh, let's just heal the dwarf. Uh, move just a few inches. Mm -hmm. He's on AC three again. Let's kill her first. Attack Ember. You attack my dear Ember, you bad person. You really bad person. How can you? Oh, okay, these, this, this woman also died already, AC 18, AC 16. Let's try this way. Pig. Let's kill. <laughs> and a bless. Yeah, that's okay. Can do that. Um, you do what's body of earth? The shaman gains damage rating two. Increases by one for every four moment number. In addition, as a standard action, you can cause checked pieces of stone to explode in a ten foot radius burst. Steal one d six points of payment levels she possesses. Nice. Um. Oh wait, this one's nice. Can I do this? Like here. Oh, cool spell. Okay. You'll do this. And then just move a bit further in this direction. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why are we still flat footed, all of us? Can you tell me?
You please heal my dear Ember. Why did they why did they attack her? Hmm? Tell me. Okay, let's get this stuff. Ooh, what's this? Is this a really? No one needs glaive. Ooh, stuff. heavy shield unidentified. Nice. Mm -hmm. So this wasn't really a random encounter, it looked like a scripted random encounter. <clears throat> Stupid. Hmm. Anyway, I will continue next time. We'll see each other again. See you then. Bye.